This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Oscar winning movie Braveheart. 25 years. 25 years. If you love the film, you're in for a treat because there's more story to tell. Cody's standing by with more. Indeed. We've got Angus McFaddy, and uh, he's playing Robert the Bruce, a new crackle uh, booby uh, about uh, you know, Robert the Bruce. Good to see you, sir. How are you? How are you? Good to be with you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, you've played so many historical figures over the years, including I was Aleister Crowley, Robert the Bruce here. Uh, you played Hitler in one thing. Uh, you've, is there a difference between playing a real life person and, say, somebody that's fictional? How do you how do you approach that? Yeah. Well, you just have you have a lot more um, research opportunities. There's a lot of information there. Um, if, uh, if it's somebody who hasn't existed or what you really have is yourself, you're the blank canvas. And so you, you, it's, you create something out of nothing. But w with the thing you have, in a certain way, a duty to, to, to history and to, you know, following a, a certain, um, you know, you, you got you to gotta pay attention to the facts. Why did you want to revisit Robert the Bruce? I mean, it's been 25 years since Braveheart. It, it is a fascinating story. I could get this, but uh, but why now? And why why did you want to revisit this character? I um, well, he was. Uh, I have to say that it was probably the most the best role I've I've ever played. The most fascinating. Um, I I I do love to play these historical characters, especially in. Um, and such characters from history. Um, but also I felt that the story had not been finished. So I felt like I had a ghost walking around uh, behind me, tapping me on the shoulder for many years, going, finish the story, finish the story. So eventually I obeyed and sat down and um, wrote the, um, the following follow-up of uh, the, the fight for independence and freedom and, and the journey that it took to get there, which was quite a struggle. And it's the story of uh, destiny and perseverance. And why now? Why didn't I get the film made for 13 years? That as well is a question of fate and destiny that things are often, you know, we, we wish that we could make something happen now as a human being, but we're just little tiny flicks in the universe. And there's a mighty hand, which is, you know, you can call it fate or destiny, and that decides when events will occur. And so, you know, you're very much, you know, things are out of your control and, and you have to accept that and allow uh, the unfolding of, of time and life and accept it. And so that also is part of the story of um, Robert the Bruce, you know, that he had to lose seven battles and yet persevere and become a better person for realizing that his own ambition was his own worst enemy. I think this sounds great, and I feel like I just had a breakthrough in therapy. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Uh, it's on Crackle. I think uh, it might be on right now, but at least it will be on tonight if you're looking for something fun to watch this weekend. And remember, Crackle's free, so it's, it's awesome for everything. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right, back to you guys.